hello everyone uh, today we are going to uh, look at the one more automation tool uh, catalog studio so the tool is very useful uh, it has all the inbuilt features and uh, it's a uh, it's also a type of an, uh, an excel automation if you remember my last session uh, was on that so it's uh, similar to that uh, but uh, it has all the feature and uh, um, the tool supports web automation uh, api automation mobile automation and also desktop automation so let's start uh, how uh, we can leverage this tool uh, and uh, see how we can install and uh, and a quick demo on how to execute the uh, application uh, okay so what what we have to do is like uh, go to catalon.com okay and uh, start downloading this tool okay so type catalon.com and uh, click on download catalon studio the current version is 7 based on your operating system 32 or 64 mac or linux it will select that by default so you just download it uh, runtime engine we don't need as of now but uh, download catalon studio click on download i don't do this because i already downloaded remember one thing when when you are downloading this it will ask for the uh, registration i am already uh, registered to this so what you have to do click on download and it will pop up one window where you have to provide your uh, email ID and password and you have to remember the same email ID and uh, password we need uh, after uh, launching the first time it will ask again uh, in that time we need to provide this username and uh, password registered username and password there to activate the software okay so um, i have already downloaded this one um, in my local and uh, it's something like this it's come in the zip format okay you have to unzip it once you unzip it these are all the properties and folder structure you can see uh, in on your lo local okay uh, you can take a quick look what and all it has okay if you're interested and otherwise you can directly launch the application so this will load all the configuration and setup required for uh, automation but as i told in the beginning you need to give the same registered username and password to activate this is the one time activity once you activate your software uh, from there onwards you don't have to give a uh, username and password it will store uh, with the machine id okay um, so since I have already activated my account it won't ask me now so so keep remember that once you're launching it's very easy that you have to give the same username and password to launch this software as well okay so this is the setup uh, it will preload uh, what I'll do now um, uh, I'll quickly walk through on what we have on this okay so once uh, uh, okay let me create one project and uh, uh, from there I'll walk through uh, the project name is uh, demo 3 and uh, select based on your need uh, whether it's web web services API automation or mobile automation okay then uh, on the project selection you can select uh, whether it's a shopping code a retail domain project or it's a healthcare domain project or you want to do bdd kind of test you can select that also otherwise you select blank and this is the location where your scripts and uh, the entire project test cases will be stored enable these two this is required once uh, we need uh, uh, ci cd in place okay click on ok now um, the project setup uh, will be done now we get demo 3 and uh, this is the where uh, you see right the green one uh, if your first time user it will ask uh, to provide the uh, password and uh, registered username and password you can if you don't have team you can create the team uh, since I have a team uh, it by default it will select otherwise it will give you a link uh, where you can add the configuration from the catalog desktops 
and uh, this is the demo 3 project I'll add to demo 3 okay if you want to change go to project and uh, settings you can change there also this setup click on ok okay now this is the project properties uh, here we are going to write attach cases here we can create a suit all the data files it will be stored here object repository I, I'll, I'll go through each and everything of this structure okay this is the setup now what we do we quickly write one test case um, let's say login login test okay click on ok now this is the page where we are going to write the test case if you remember in the excel automation also we got the excel sheet where we are added all the keyword driven we call the keyword driven methods and we added the steps same way we are need to do this and how we are going to do is like if you see this one spy web and this is record web this is spy mobile this is record mobile this is spy desktop this is record desktop okay quickly we do one test case setup and uh, execute it I will see how it works click on uh, uh, if you want to write your own uh, own uh, keyword we go here based on the web or mobile or uh, web services windows you select that option now select web key right then here select uh, open browser okay then say navigate to url which url you want www dot google dot com ok click on ok then to test simple uh, flow click on this button run and see by default it will be launched in the firefox only or you can at the open browser you can name the browser which browser you want to execute this script let's see what happens now the firefox will be launched and google will be open now go back see this test case become pass and view execution history here this is the report uh, that we get so since there is no data it coming like this remember this page will come back here later okay now we can add one more test case say login to okay now the new window will be given again if you want to write your own uh, flow or uh, we can do that and see these are all the options that we get clear test click click image click offset click close browser and there are many and these are almost uh, we can use in our uh, uh, automation script take screenshot type on image all that all that whatever required uh, it's a uh, preloaded okay just you select provide uh, input and execute it okay now what I'll do I'll record and see how it works okay there's nothing now this is the sample site I'm going to test and uh, here you can choose which browser you need okay headless or uh, whatever you whatever the browser as of now it's a preloaded with the uh, three uh, browsers Firefox Chrome and I so what I'll do I'll open with the Firefox okay you just see this will be captured whatever you perform here right it will capture here click on 
make appointment see click make appointment this is the uh, sample username copy and uh, paste copy and paste click on login you see whatever the action you perform here it will capture the method it will fill the object it will type wherever the in, uh, in input text is required it will type here okay now say what is this Tokyo apply for hosp hospital select anything and select uh, January 14th uh, description is test demo book appointment and uh, this is something here it's booked i'll click on go to home page this is the home page and i'll click on if you notice this if i mouse over anything on here right you see the black um, it will actually capture the xpath idea related to that see the black one if you notice here the window will come which which is this locator is now what I'll do I'll click on logout and just clicked on logout and I'll close the recording sessions okay now I'll just uh, uh, to confirm whether my test cases is this much or is there anything that I need to add and all and also you can in between you can insert the you know you can add the you know, web element and you can uh, say you can take screenshot here say for example after uh, this login uh, you want to take screenshot right uh, say take screenshot of this like that you can modify also and uh, you can uh, run um, uh, you can uh, play back and see uh, what else you can include on the test script side okay so now the whatever that we filled the details right it's actually it's filling this and uh, now it will go here it will take the screenshot okay now it will click on go to and now it will close this and the execution is passed the status is passed so if you are comfortable with this uh, what you have to do click on ok and all this will be stored in the object repository or if you want to name it to new folder you can do that click on ok ok now see the object repository earlier it was empty now it got filled with all the id if you want to change again select this and uh, change the locator okay now what i'll do um uh, now two test cases are ready and uh, since uh, we don't have any test suit i'll do i'll try to create one suit uh, say smoke smoke test click ok now add the those two test cases to smoke suit now your suit is ready now same thing click on run your smoke suit will be executed let's see how it goes we have two test cases login test and login one is uh, just to open the Google the first test case is passed second one is we have uh, opened one website where we booked some healthcare uh, related appointment yeah this is the one okay now let's see we selected that yeah two test cases are passed okay now your execution is uh, completed and the report will be uploaded to kettle on test ops and I'll, I'll 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 show the reports how it comes uh, let the report is completed now it's done 
now the now if you want to see the report click on view execution view execution history remember one we just open one test case where we don't have much information it it was just blank okay you can go back some three minutes back to this video and you see the report there this is the project this is the execution we have two test cases. two test cases have passed and this is the performance um, duration of test case one uh, 192 is 36 seconds suit is 36 seconds and this is the smoke uh, number of test cases to duration is completed duration is within 36 seconds which platform it's a windows and firefox taken and if you want to do further analysis on this you can do that and uh, required time taken and all that uh, this is the you can download it as well and uh, test run is only one we have to take one test suit we have two test case under that status is passed okay and uh, here we can see some uh, graphical format reports since we don't have much information it's not um, uh, coming nicely if you have some unread test cases then with the pass fail criteria you can generate uh, some good report and um, which platform which browser and how many test cases executed passed right you can also let's go back and see what else this tool provides us you can build any number of test cases and this is the object repository it will store based on the page and page objects you can you can uh, you can change as per your need right and also um, what else it offers like uh, let's let's see one by one you can insert the groovy script as well based on your uh, uh, flow or you can add the gro uh, groovy script and you, c you can also integrate uh, with uh, third party uh, tools or like uh, jira qtest and test trail uh, if you if your requirements and test cases are in jira you you want to map the script with the jira you can do that by clicking this actually if you have uh, jira you can configure that or this is the plugin that you need to download download it from the jira okay so they have the instruction how to do this once test is done here it will update the requirement in jira so that's a very good setup and also if you want uh, to configure uh, to um, CI CD tools here is the option Jenkins bamboo and others or docker okay try try it out and uh, see how it works okay so that's all um, for this session and let's see in coming session we will build some more uh, scenarios and see how it works and uh, thanks for watching